Congratulations that they might be a living testimony of transformation that can occur in a moment, in a lifetime. So we are very, very thankful for each of them being here. I have the honor and privilege of being the director of what I think is the best youth development program in the nation. It is Youth Bill. combination of many things. We have a major host and partner to make this happen, that is Venice Community Housing, and then we also have the Department of Labor who helps us, and John Muir, our charter high school, and so, so many people come together to make one big event. What each of these individuals have done, at some point in their life, they heard, they responded to a call, a call for change and transformation. Our core values are empowerment, social justice, and positive transformation. They started this journey, they started this journey by responding to an ad, a call, someone saying, you should be a part of this thing. And then they went to something called mental toughness. For three weeks they had to tough it out through uh, obstacles and, and trials and tribulations and group working and, and all kinds of activities. But then they were accepted. There were 70 that started, 35 came through, 27 sit stand before you. This is a mighty journey right here. I'm saying for me. Youth Build work the best program in the nation. Well, it works like this. We take these the 70 that call, call them down to 35, and then we invite them to be a part of a transformation process that has two parts. One academic, and one uh, has to do with hard, uh, gaining soft and hard skills in the work program. So we send them to our charter high school partner, John Muir High School, which is right on our campus at Venice Youth Build and Venice Community Housing, they go to school for a week. Now we have a unique part of our program, it's, it's like this, instead of them paying to go to school, they get paid to go to school. They have an incentive to go to school by pay. We split the large group into half, half of them go to school and work on their academics with individualized instruction, which is focused on um, project-based activities. Where they, they work on projects and community service activities, they do all kinds of activities in, that where in, in terms of academics. And then we send that other group out to work on community uh, work in terms of doing building and construction, learning construction trades in our nonprofit sector. All of the houses that our young people work on are low-income housing where other people can get take, become, uh, and take advantage of housing made available by the work of these young people's hands. It is a great partnership with people like Neighborhood Housing Services, with Home Habitat for Humanity, which is our, far, uh, our former partner. These kind of partnerships work together to transform people's lives. They not only do the academic, they not only do the construction, but they also participate in what they call uh, community service projects. These are not community service projects mandated by the judge, <laughs> but mandated nevertheless. <laughs> they, are, they, they come along with, they, they work on community service projects in all, all sections of our city. That's why we have city representatives from all over the city because they go all over. And what they do is they, partic they do particular projects. I would just please and honored to work with um, Assemblymember Steve Bradford who came in and worked with us, uh, came in and celebrated the opening of the Walgrave Wildlands Project, where our young people put hours and hours of work together and community service work just to get that wildland project together. And guess what happens after that? After their community service project uh, service, they do 450 hours, each of them get a $1,400 scholarship to use through the AmeriCorps program that we're working with. Yes. Yes, we have the best program in the nation, believe me. And so they have that, they do the community service project, and then every Friday we do something called leadership development. They might have came in here a little shy, a little, a little not sure of themselves, but each one of these people are proud leaders today. They are youth leaders. They are the future right now, present right before your eyes. Let's celebrate the future right now. And then after we, after we get them in, after they uh, embrace the values of empowerment, social justice, and positive transformation, then at the end of the 10-month period, which is this graduation we have right here, what we do is we continue to follow them and track them into career paths. We, we encourage some of them to go uh, the way they should go. What the Bible says, train up a man in the way they should go, or train up a child in the way that he should go, he would never leave there, uh, there from. For us, we, we understand that as... Uh, what do you want to do? You want to be a carpenter? Well, let me teach you how to be a carpenter. You want to be an uh, electrician? Let me show you how to be an electrician. You want to be, what do you want to do? And so we draw out of them and then we start following them for the next three months to track them to make sure that they're in that track. Most of them are going to college. Some other ones are trying some other uh, career paths. So we have wonderful partnerships with um, 
with UCLA, Loach, I mean, so many partners to make this thing happen. But that's a little bit about our program. One thing I wanted to ask you to do right from the start, you heard about this program, it is the best. When, before you leave, pick up a flyer, pick up an application, because you already know somebody who needs this program. Amen? Amen. Yeah, I know you know. Do you know someone who needs this program? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know you do. So I want you to be a part of that help. So we're going to move out the way. We're going to have a welcome by our CEO, um, Steve Clare. He is the direct, executive director of Venice Youth Bill. I know you don't like that. Come on, get that. Got a new title. It's good. <laughs> Coming up in the world. Every year, and this is this is Omar has stated much of what I wanted to really say, but I'll, I'll say it again in my own words. Uh, every year, a collection of young people get together to participate in youth building. When they start the pro the program, they don't know one another. They don't care about one another, they don't even know themselves very well, and they know very little about the program they signed up for. But by the end of the program cycle, they have been transformed. They transform themselves. It happens every time. They connect with one another and with staff. They learn from one another and with our staff. They mentor and are mentored by one another and our staff. By the end of the cycle, their lives their aspirations, their experiences have intertwined. They have woven together a rich and strong fabric of friendship, respect, shared memories, and a commitment to one another and the program that lasts for a very long time. Tonight, we're here to celebrate that fabric, the youth build experience that we have shared together. We're here this evening to acknowledge the accomplishments of each and every one of our graduates and to honor the support they have received from one another, from their parents, their family, and their friends. I want to welcome you all to the graduation exercises for Venice Youth Build Class of 2014.